Yeah, I mean, I think what Domingo said is, you know, uh, has to stay within the team. Um, you know, he messed up in life, and, you know, I don't condone any of the things he did, and, you know, he's getting a second chance at this, and, um, you know, we have his back, but, you know, he's, he's skating on thin ice, and he needs to get his life together, and I think he's doing the right steps to do so, but, again, you know, he's got to prove to us that, um, you know, he can do that. Okay, we'll take the next one from Sweeney Murdy. Hey, look, uh, Aaron Boone always talks about improving at the margins. I'm curious, when you look at your own season and your own past couple of seasons, what are some of the things you're, you're specifically trying to improve on? Uh, my first step to the right side. Um, I was I got rated pretty low with the Sabre metrics on um, balls to my right, um, so that's a big thing. And uh, my walk rate was down a lot. Obviously, only 60 games, um, but my percentage was down. So uh, I need to have a better uh, – I got a good understanding of, of the zone and what I need to hit. But I think, uh, you know, be aggressive at the same time, but be smart with it, if that makes sense. So. And um, part of uh, the last couple of years, your lineup has been very right-handed. Yeah. And it gets exposed sometimes with bullpens in the postseason. Over the long haul, the regular season, it doesn't seem to be as big an issue. Um, do you think that's been a big factor? And is there anything other than getting left-handed bats you can do about it? I, I always, you know, I kind of get frustrated when everyone's saying we need like a lefty bat in the lineup and everything. I like hitting righties just as much as I like hitting lefties, and I think a lot of guys on the team do. And obviously, this game's a whole matchup-based game now. And um, but it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I. Pretty sure my stats are pretty similar. I actually think I hit worse against lefties last year. But, um, you know, I grew up my whole life facing righties, and then you randomly face a lefty growing up. And um, not saying I like facing one or the other. It doesn't really matter who's pitching. But um, it, I don't care. It's still Aaron Judge. It's still John Carlo. It's still Gleyber Torres. It's still Gary Sanchez. you got to figure out a way to get us out, whether lefty or righty. So good luck. Thanks, Luke. Take the next one from Bruce Beck. Hey, Luke, what does the defending home run champion do for an encore? <laughs> Hit a bunch more. Work on that home run trot. I mean, Without a gimp. That you, like, when you look back at that, I'm just saying, like, uh, you, you have a lot to be proud of, but as you go forward, how do you view this season and, and what you're trying to accomplish? Um, you know, kind of just go off what I did last year. Um, there's a lot of things I did well. Uh, obviously, a lot of things I need to improve on, too, but... Um, I felt really comfortable at the play last year, and you know I kind of fell off a little bit towards the end and into the playoffs. Um, and I need to, you know, kind of steady that heartbeat. You know, I think I took it too many ups and downs last year, and you know, be more consistent. And um, you know, I had a couple good ruts, and then I had or a couple good times and a couple bad ruts. So it's um, you know, limit those, you know, one for 15 series if that makes sense. Um, and like I said, walk more to where those one for 15s turn into, you know, maybe two for 10 or something like that because I'm on base, you know, five more times. So um, just, just try to be a better all teammate too and, um, you know, get after it and win. Win, 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 baby, win. Next one goes to Meredith. Meredith, please unmute. Blue consistency isn't easy to come by in this sport. You talked about steadying the heartbeat. Aside from walking, how well do you do that throughout the course of a long season? Uh, lean on your teammates, um, you know, lean on our staff, you know, communication is huge. I think when guys need a break, you need a break, even if you're going good, um, you know, you just got to trust what your body is and trust that, you know, if you need a day that someone else can step in and do the job for you because, you know, these games matter and these games count and, you know, obviously it's early now, but we want as much home field advantage as possible, thus, you know, with getting the fans back, so... Um, we just need to be, uh, you know, a sponsorable, healthy team, and you know, uh, if that happens, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be tough for other teams to beat us. You also mentioned trying to improve your first step to your right, aside from repetition. How do you do that? It's all timing, um, and I've been working with Mendy, um, Carlos Mendoza, and uh, he's been, uh, it's been great. We've been doing more video with uh, our uh, defensive work over the last couple of days, which has been great, which I've never really had before outside of, you know, during games. So. That's helped out a lot, and, you know, just repetition is huge. Thank you. Next question to Lindsay Adler. Hey, look, first of all, that uh, 
Dave Parker shirt is amazing. Uh, second of all, the boy's always bopping. Sorry, I forgot to turn on my video. Um, more, more seriously though, it's it's very rare to hear something like what Zach Curtin said or what you just said about uh, you know Domingo being on thin ice. And typically, we sort of hear players talking around it. And so I'm curious, like, how uncomfortable is it for you to be sort of frank about this situation and what kind of goes into your decision not to uh, try to steer around it? I mean, it's a it's a problem that's gone on, you know, in our world, in our country, and you know, we got to figure out ways to get it better. And um, you know, obviously, I want Herman to get better. You know, he's my teammate. You know, obviously, he's a friend. So, you know, we'll be there for him. Um, but you know, we don't condone it. And he messed up. And you know, a lot of guys look at him differently now. But you know what? I believe in second chances, and the guy deserves a second chance. And um, you know, I hope he's taking the right steps to do. What he needs to do better with his family, you know, and I'm, 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 you know, grateful that he came and apologized yesterday and to us and to the, you know, organization. So he's making strides, but again, um, there's a lot more left in his career, and um, you know, hopefully he just in his life, and hopefully he makes the right decisions.